Nukmal tickets are the most coveted currency in New Horizons. Bells are a thing of the past. No one cares. They're too easy to come across. But Nukmal tickets? These things are better than gold. We can't get our hands on enough of them. Everything worthwhile on Nukazan usually costs a decent number of tickets. The reason Nukmal tickets are so sought after, they're difficult to acquire and are super useful. Collecting Nukmals legitimately takes a while. The only way to collect them is to complete the long-term goals or Nukmal Plus goals that the game provides you. You're at the game's mercy as to how many miles are awarded to you when completing these goals. I wanted to see how nice the game was. I wanted to see how quickly you could collect a bunch of Nukmal tickets legitimately, and if all the effort is worth the number of tickets you spend to villager hunt or trade the items with others in the community. So an hour timer was set, and I got to work. Once I found a day where it wasn't raining so the footage looked better, <laughs> excuse me. I took a quick look through my long-term Nook Mile goals which showed that nothing was even close to being done. Nothing was available for me to do quickly that I could get a bunch of Nook Miles from. I guess I could have planted like 50 tomatoes but I only have an hour here and I didn't want to spend it all planting crops and only get like 1 or 2,000 Nook Miles for all that, thus ending the hour with like 2,000 Nook Miles gained. I'll definitely make way more pounding out the Nookma Plus goals, right? We started with 168,710 Nook Miles. Obviously, we're only counting how many miles we've earned throughout this hour, so we'll subtract 168,710 Nook Miles from the final number. The first task was to get started on the easy Nook Mile Plus goals. After scoping out what could have been done quickly, I ran around my island like I was running from someone asking to play Amiibo Festival, so pretty freaking fast. Whenever I'm trying to quickly get Nook Miles, I tend to ignore the super specific goals that require a bunch of effort and reliance on RNG, like catching a specific bug or fish. These just rely on the game being nice to you, and we all know the game is never nice to any of us. No matter what creature the game asks for, it seems like they always screw you over and make that specific creature difficult to find. If you ever get a sea bass to show up as a Nook Mile Plus goal, enjoy sea bass free fishing for a few minutes. Feels like the game just won't give it to you. Thankfully, five of these never popped up the entire hour. I don't know if it's in the game's code to make it so you don't get a bunch of them stuck in your docket for the rest of the day, or if I just got really lucky that the easier goals kept spawning in. These were the ones I concentrated on, the simple goals. Craft three items, catch five fish, customize furniture, hit rocks, hit trees, you know the ones. These are fast, easy, and provide a decent number of nook miles in return. I also made sure to get the goals with a multiplier done as quickly as possible. These are super important, especially when the easier goals give you such a small reward. The multiplier makes them feel far more worthwhile. Normally, an hour is a long time. If you sit down and do something for an hour, there's a chance you'll get a good chunk of it done. Homework, housework, the script. An hour is a decent amount of time to spend on something productive. Except when collecting Nook Miles, apparently. My god, this time went by so fast. I had so much anxiety trying to get these tasks done as quickly as possible. This was literally the fastest hour I have ever experienced. Missed a few fish in the process, which definitely lost me time, thank you twitchy thumbs, but you know what, the anxiety of an hour is real in a video game. So after the entire hour of working on Nook Mile Plus goals, my final miles number was 173,660. But two of the goals included spending 500 Nook Miles to get more Nook Miles in return. So I added back those 1,000 Nook Miles to give us the final number of 5,950 Nook Miles earned in one hour. My god, that's two, almost three Nook Mile tickets. I, I don't know what I expected, but two tickets, it was not it. I was hoping for like 10, maybe? You would have to play hours to gain Nook Miles by solely completing Nook Mile Plus goals, which most of us are stuck with after playing the game for over two years. There aren't as many long-term goals to go around. This isn't a quick way to gain miles, but maybe we don't really need a quick way. Once you invite a new villager onto your island, there's a 15 day cooldown until another villager can ask to leave and allow you to villager hunt again. This gives you plenty of time to stock up until your next mystery island adventure. I've been spending 1000 miles per day trying to collect all the gyroids from Captain's Island, but that's the only other feature that has been sucking up my nook miles. So all these miles in my bank can just be thrown towards tickets. If you were to grind out Nook Mile Plus goals for an hour a day for 15 days, rounding up to 6,000 miles instead of 5,950 just for easier math, you could earn around 90,000 Nook Miles, which is 45 Nook Mile tickets. 
Definitely not close to the thousands that we've used during some of these hunts, but 45 tickets is a pretty good chunk. Is this the best way to get Nook Mile tickets in the game? Legitimately, it's literally the only way. This is how we are expected to collect tickets to hunt for our villagers. Unfortunately, statistics of finding your dreamy show that it may be impossible to find who you're looking for that quickly. Legitimately. So hold on to those Nook Mile tickets. They are worth more than gold in this game. They're the ultimate currency that we, the community, have completely controlled the value of. We have increased their value tenfold compared to the value of bells, especially on trading sites like Nookazon. We've created an entire economy surrounding these tickets. It's cool to see a new edition of the series be so important to the players and how they affect the game. The addition of these tickets give me high hopes for the future of Animal Crossing games. Clearly, Nook Mile tickets were a wonderful idea, but I'm excited to see what the developers will come up with next. I just, I just want the next Animal Crossing. We have years. We literally have years and I'm just sitting here like, yep, okay, next game, please, Nintendo.